Hey guys, what's up, Aries? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. <clears throat> Keep in mind that the energy can go both ways. So, this could be your energy or the energy of the person <clears throat> that you're dealing with or someone around you. So, take it out, resonate for you. If this does resonate for you today, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Alright, also if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. Alright, let's see what's going on. It's definitely something. It looks like an ending, but we'll see. Oh, there's your energy. A little defensive, like you're kind of um, just falling back on something. Maybe healing. It doesn't look like somebody's taking any action. Just trying to move forward. Wanting some peace. Alright, Aries, immediate future. Ten of Wands. Somebody may have felt stuck for a long time. Like, like, all right, see, uh, there's that ending with that Ten of Swords. And it may, it may be difficult, but tens here. We have two tens, so that's all about um, endings, transformation, so that, you know, new things can develop. It's almost like a freeing effect is the way that, that it feels like it, it, it ends up. Because here it's like you're starting with this Ten of Wands, like this person is trapped or feeling trapped. It's almost like freeing feeling. All right, show me this Ten of Wands for Aries. Somebody's been carrying some burdens, some struggles. Show me this Ten of Wands for Aries, please. The High Priestess. So you could have really been keeping this to yourself here. With the lovers, Gemini energy. So there could have been things hidden beneath the surface. It's almost like trying to find yourself again. Alright, interesting. Pisces energy with the moon. Feels like with the moon and the high priestess right here. Really pay attention to your dreams. But these are also about things that are hidden, that are beneath the surface, that are not seen. So I feel like, like possibly even the struggle or your emotions, because there were things that's like they were just not revealed here. <clears throat> this could have been around a work situation. I mean, it could have been around uh, without a lover and a three of pentacles. So. You know, it could have been an outside interference with this. Show me this four of pentacles for Aries. The death and the two of pentacles. Wow. You got the death, the ten of swords, and the ten of wands. Somebody's still holding on to something, right? Thank you. The queen of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, but the Queen of Pentacles is all about um, possessions, right? It can't be material possess possessions, but um, somebody is still like up in the air. It's, it's almost like, show me the Two of Pentacles, please. It's like the feeling and knowing it's over, but still up in the air because it feels like there's something like that someone, like I said, is still attached to. But at the same time, you're healing Sagittarius energy. Could have been a player in the mix here. Somebody was just very driven out for themselves here. And not, not in a negative way. Just very, like, driven. Just a night.
Show me this Ten of Swords. Somebody may have held on to something too long. And I don't even know what the hell that means. But that's what's coming across. I mean, it could be a person, an item. Show me this Ten of Swords for Aries. The Ten of Swords is an ending. You also have the Death card and the Ten of Wands. So I feel like it's something that's probably, um, you know, this isn't anything that's just kind of popping up here. You have the Eight of Pentacles. There's something that you've been working on. Because we have the Three of Pentacles over here. The Eight of Pentacles over here. So this could be work-related or a work situation. Because <clears throat> the Queen of Pentacles is very much about our money and things like that. So, um, but the Eight of Pentacles, there's something that you're working on and it's like it's coming to an end. It could be a work project like where, where you're like collaborating with others, working with others, things like that. But we also have the lovers here. So in a love situation, it feels like things were below the surface. They were a struggle for a while. <clears throat> and there could have been a third energy. You know, somebody kind of bouncing back and forth. Um, show me this eight of pentacles. Because the eight of pentacles is actually about putting in the work. And moving forward. You're making a choice to move forward towards something. It could be work related. could be whatever this is. You've been keeping to yourself. Um, the sun. You're moving towards your happiness. You're ending some type of long-term struggle here. Long-term battle. And you know where you're going. It could be work related. But you have the choice here. And you're moving forward. It's like you see... Like a new horizon. That's what I was saying. Like it's, it's a freeing feeling. It's not like a hurtful feeling. Because with the sun here, this is the happiest part of the deck. It's like taking charge, rejuvenating is what it feels like. It's actually a very freeing feeling. The Ten of Cups. Wow. All right. So remember, tens are about transformation. And we have a lot of them, right? Um. So you're moving forward towards your son and your emotional fulfillment here. So it's not really so much, it's, it's like an ending to like a long-standing burden or something like that, but it's very freeing because it's leading you to a very happy place. With the Wheel of Fortune here, you're growing, you're expanding. This is destined for you. You have good luck on your side right now. You have fate, you have destiny. You're kicking off. Once again, another 10. You have one, two, three, four tens. Huge transformation. Breaking old habits, old cycles. Letting go of that pain, that heaviness, that burden. Whatever it was that was like weighing you down. Empress energy, you're standing tall. This is a nice move with the Knight of Cups. There could be a love offer. Somebody who really adores you here. All right, Aries. I hope this helped. This was a nice turnaround. This is a big, big change. It's a freeing change. All right, hope this helped, hope this resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.